Hey everybody, this is Mark with iOptech on Twit. And as you may know, Apple did release iOS 8.0.1 today, which is a good thing, but if you're on iPhone 6 or 6 Plus, it's not a good thing, and if you have one, you probably know why. So Apple today released the update for all supporting devices on iOS 8. And if you wanted to go ahead and download that 73 megabyte file within settings, go ahead and do that. And I did, but then after it was done, I kind of got some news that there's a big problem and you don't really want to update. So in this video, we're going to take a look at what is the problem and why you don't want to update. Um, I just did this for the sake of the video because I know you guys want to see what's going on. But if you are on a 4S, 5, 5S, or 5C, you could update no problem at all. But if you're on a 6 or a 6 Plus, then you do kind of have a little bit of a problem. And what that is, we'll take a look at it right now. So first, you do not get any cellular connection. For me, I don't have a SIM card in it right now because I shoved that in the OnePlus One so I could actually have a working phone. As you can see, there's a OnePlus One right there on T-Mobile. But it does not have any cellular connection for me until I pulled the SIM card out, which was about two or three hours after I updated. It just kept saying searching, searching. Some people got the no service signal, but mine just kept searching forever. And it just stayed like that forever. So, well, that's a big problem. No cellular connection. And the next really, really big flop on Apple's part is something they call Touch ID. Yeah, it doesn't work. Y yeah, I don't know what they were thinking. It's not working. Um, you can enter your password. That works. So you see I enter my password. And if I go into settings and then Touch ID, and as you can see, it shows that Touch ID is enabled. And when I go to add a new fingerprint, it says that Touch ID is broken or something. I can't add any more fingerprints. There's an error. It failed. Well, I guess Touch ID is broken as well. Now you can go ahead and downgrade to iOS 8. And there are a couple other options where you can try to reinstall iOS 8.0.1 on those devices. But for me, I don't feel like downloading a 2 plus gigabyte file just because our internet here in the office is junk. But... I guess you could say I am going to wait out the storm. I do have a couple other phones sitting around, like the OnePlus One. So that is kind of what my daily phone is going to be until Apple does fix my iPhone. But there's that. Let me know if you're having the same problem down in the comment section below. Um, it is quite a pain, especially for average consumers who only have one phone, which would be their 6 or 6 Plus. But anyway, that's all for this video. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.